What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. Today I'm going to be talking about why I believe Pokemon Unite is the best MOBA for me personally. This isn't the definitive fact that this is the best MOBA on the market because everybody's got their own preferences and everybody has their own, you know, likes, dislikes about this game. So for me, this game just hits a mark and I kind of want to talk about why and talk about some of the things I love about this game, some of the things I'm looking forward to about this game, but also some of the things I dislike about this game because this game does have some freaking issues, okay? I'm not discrediting that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. If this is your first time here on the channel, though, make sure you are subbed for more Pokemon content in the future. Here we go. So, Pokemon Unite was a game that I was really looking forward to since its announcement. I thought this was a fantastic idea, and I just, I was over the moon because I am a longtime MOBA player. I played League of Legends religiously for like five years, and then the game got a little too toxic for me, so I kind of fell off there. And then I played, you know, other things like Heroes of the Storm, had a really good time with that game. I played a lot of Smite had a great time playing that on xbox and playstation and even on switch occasionally i have a long history just playing and enjoying mobas because it's fun to sit down and group up with friends and play them and that's why pokemon unite kind of just hit something for me and it's the first moba that i've played in a long time that i'm like really really into i played smite very casually i played heroes of the storm very casually and i haven't been like really into a moba since league of legends so this game is just really fantastic, especially being someone who is such a huge fan of Pokemon. Pokemon is something that is just so special to me. I've played Pokemon forever. Like, it's my favorite game series of all time. It's right up there with World of Warcraft as being my favorite game. And I just really love Pokemon. So throwing Pokemon on top of a MOBA, a game genre that I really already enjoy, was a super good idea. And it's just been awesome. So if you're unfamiliar, for, for whatever reason you missed what Pokemon Unite is, it is a MOBA, a massive online battle arena where you play with teams of five, or I believe there's other game modes with teams of three or four, and you go in and you will go battle other Pokemon. You'll catch wild Pokemon that'll give you Aos energy, and then you score this Aos energy to it's basically like shooting a basketball you go up and dunk and then that scores points the team with the most points at the end of the game wins and it's just a very fun and addictive formula because of how well they've done it so there's a handful of pokemon and this is one of my favorite aspects of the game there's so many different pokemon and they have the general roles you know you got your junglers you've got your uh adcs or your attackers as they're called in this game you've got your all-arounders which are like warriors and bruisers you've got your supports and you got your defenders you know the big bulky guys so there's a lot of different roles you play in a lot of different pokemon fill these roles and then they just have a good variety of pokemon it's very nice to see that not only did they pull pokemon that are very very popular and that people are familiar with they've pulled a lot of pokemon in this game that probably a lot of players or people that enjoy you know gen 1 and stuff have never seen before like crustal or cramorant you know there's a bunch of lesser known pokemon in this game and i really like the fact that they're getting this sort of representation here because i mean what when was the last time you know you actually like seen a crustal you know promotional image it's been a long time right if ever so it's really cool to see these kind of Pokemon get that sort of spotlight in this game, and it's fantastic. I, I really enjoy that. On top of that, the gameplay is very fun. Obviously, playing on the Nintendo Switch, it's not the most powerful system, so there are frame dips occasionally. It's very few and far between, but it does happen. Playing handheld or docked is fantastic. Everything runs very smooth, and the gameplay is very fun. It's very repetitive, but it's just, it's so quick that you're just, it very much has that one more game sort of mentality where you can just be addicted to it and just play all night long because the games are actually only 10 minutes the standard 5v5 game mode is only 10 minutes long so it's not like a league of legends game or a smite game where you're in there for 15 to 30 minutes every time you're in there for a quick 10 minute rotation and then you're out and you're into the next game which is super fun especially if you are the losing team i know that is the worst in smite or league where you just get pounded and you have to sit and you have to wait because your team won't surrender and you end up playing like a 30 minute game that was doing from the start Start. that is super frustrating to me so this game being 10 minutes you can hop in have a good time is super awesome especially considering that because of the 10 minutes if you really only have like 15 20 minutes to kill you can hop in and get a game of this in and no problem and that is super nice to me the way you go about playing the characters there's different items that you can equip and you'll level up by battling wild pokemon each game and that is a it's a very fun just balance of things i will say there are some flaws however with this particular game first off there is some pay to win stuff now 
initially people were very upset about the pay to win stuff in this game however the further we get into the life cycle of this game it's not as big a deal so what the pay to win is is you're able to buy boosters and things of that nature that will give you more in-game currency that you can use to upgrade your held items that give you a stat advantage when you're playing in game this was a problem when the game launched because you know that gave you a distinct advantage over everybody else you're playing with but the game is now a month out from launch and it doesn't really matter as much anymore the stat difference is so slight that it's not a huge deal at the end of the day if you're not good at a character it's not really the pay to win items that are killing you it's your lack of skill so for me i don't see this as being a huge issue and i've heard a lot of other content creators say the same deal is that it, it was an issue at the start and it's less so of an issue now it's still not good and i'm not you know saying it's okay that it's in the game but it's not that big of a deal the biggest issue with this game is simply the fact that pokemon is not great at explaining how this game's work there's so many hidden things about certain mechanics and things of that nature for example the dreadnought video i made the other day talking about the dreadnought mechanic that nobody is aware of that dreadnought actually gives you a debuff that lowers the amount of damage you do to the big boss monster zapdos in the middle of the jungle so there's so much that is not explained including things about the you know the items that you bring in a game there's so many things that are not explained in terms of how this game works and operates that would be so crucial in how people actually go about playing the game that this needs remedy they need to definitely get in there and they need to figure out a way to explain this information much better than how they already do aside from that though i think the thing that gets me the most about this game is that it's just good fun and it's not difficult to pick up and play as someone who's played mobas off and on for a long time i know that mobas can be very very difficult with a huge learning curve and i feel like this game specifically is easy to hop into and get into but difficult to master i've got so many people so many friends that were like not into smite or other games of that nature because of the like barrier and the level of entry was too high to like learn everything where they were able to hop into pokemon unite and just have a great time and just get in and play some games and i think that's what's awesome is this is really like a baby's first moba kind of thing and this can get you into other mobas but also there is a higher level of like mastery and there is a rank system so you can progress in this game but i would say it's very easy to learn and difficult to master and that is what makes this game super fun plus they just keep pumping out content like i really wasn't sure how quickly this game was going to get updated honestly i figured it'd be a slower roll but this game like a week after launch got a new character we just got another new character about a month after launch we've had multiple patches balancing characters it's very very well done and i think it's just super good they've already announced two more characters that will be coming to the game i am very much looking forward to the future of this game especially when you consider a lot of the possibilities with things like themed events and stuff where they can just pull from the 900 some pokemon that are available and they can just re you know, reskin the map essentially where make everything the same gameplay wise but just change the pokemon that are there to fit different themes you know for halloween have dark Rye become zapdos and things of that nature that stuff would be super cool and super exciting to me so in my opinion, Pokemon Unite is a fantastic MOBA, and for me, it just is so much fun that it is my favorite MOBA to play at this time. I just really enjoy the quick quickness of all the games. The, the ability to hop in and hop out is something that I really, really enjoy about this particular game, and the fact that it's so accessible to all my friends who really don't like games like Smite and League of Legends, I'm a big fan. Plus, the mobile version is coming for those of you that really don't want to play it on the Nintendo Switch, and I can't say I blame you for not wanting to play it there. This is coming to mobile next month, September 22nd. Make sure you go pre-register because you will get bonus in-game items if you pre-register and we hit a certain mark. So definitely go do that. But yeah, this is just a really fun game and I cannot recommend it enough. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. That is why Pokemon Unite is just one of my favorite games to play right now. It's something that I play pretty much every day, at least a couple games. But if you found the video entertaining and helpful, leave a like and smash the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Check out the Discord where people over there playing Pokemon all the time. And check me out over on Enter the Chat, TikTok, all that fun stuff, all my socials. If you're interested in keeping up with me, this channel, the stream, the podcast, anything like that. Like I said, that's it for this one. I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.